So in the world of anime, there are a few franchises that seem harder to get into than simply pulling up Crunchyroll or Netflix and turning them on. Like the Rare Gun Slash Index series, the Fate franchise, Mobile Suit Gundam, and the topic for today's video, the Monogatari series. The problem fans face with a lot of these series that have multiple installments within the franchise is the question of watch order. Because unlike the majority of anime out there, these anime do not tell the story chronologically. Instead, each installment can happen anywhere on the timeline, and this is where argument and sometimes debate among fans arises about how to watch the series. For the Monogatari series, technically, there are four different ways to watch the series. Light novel release order, anime release order, semi-chronological, and chronological. But don't worry if you're new to the franchise, you don't need to know all this stuff. Because honestly, two of these watch orders are meant only for a second viewing. So all we need to cover in this video is anime release order and semi-chronological order. Anything simpler than this is, in my opinion, a disservice to the franchise. And if you're still interested in understanding light novel release order and or chronological order, I'll link some graphics in the description that do a good job of explaining them. Now, with that out of the way, let's jump into it. So first, I'll cover the order that is the easiest to watch, the anime release order, which is pretty self-explanatory from the title, you watch the installments in the order they were released as anime. So first, Bakumonogatari released in 2009, 15 episodes. Then Nithi Monogatari, 2012, 11 episodes. Also 2012, Nekomonogatari Kuro, 4 episodes. Then Monogatari series 2nd season, 2013, 26 episodes. Then Hana Monogatari, 2014, 5 episodes. Then Suki Monogatari, 2014, 4 episodes. Awari Monogatari, 2015, 12 episodes. Koimi Monogatari, 2016, 12 episodes. Then Kizu Monogatari Part 1, 2, and then 3. 2016 for the first two, and then 2017 for the last one. And Awari Monogatari Second Season, 2017, 7 episodes. Then finally, Zuku Awari Monogatari, which will release in 2019 as a series, which will be the end of the main storyline. And that's how you would watch it in the anime release order. Then there's the semi chronological order. This order basically means you watch the series for the most part chronologically with a few minor changes, which is why it's called semi chronological order. Now, personally, this is how I would recommend to watch the series for your first time because this order makes the timeline the least confusing to understand, in my opinion, for newcomers. But the final decision is up to you. So let's get started and I'll just explain each of the changes at the end. Okay, so like release order, you start off with Baka Monogatari, then Nisei Monogatari. And then here is where changes start happening because now you watch Kizu Monogatari part one, two, and three, and Neko Monogatari, Kuro. Then second season episodes seven to 10, then second season episodes 17 to 20. From there, we go to Awari Monogatari episodes eight to 12, then second season episodes one to five. Then go to Awari Monogatari and watch episodes one through seven. Then go back to Monogatari second season and watch episodes 12 to 15 and episodes 21 to 26. From there, we go back to Suki Monogatari, then Awari Monogatari second season, then Zuku Monogatari. Then finally, we end with Hana Monogatari. Also, don't worry too much about Koyumi Monogatari because this is just a collection of short stories throughout the entire timeline that can be watched all together after if you want. Okay, so that's how you watch semi-chronological order. I will now explain the major changes in this order and compared to the release order in case you wanna know why. If you don't care about the why, then just go to this time in the video. Okay, so technically, Kizu Monogatari and Neko Monogatari Kuro happen together at the beginning of the timeline. But since they work better as flashbacks, that is why you watch them after Nithi Monogatari, since you do need this information before watching Monogatari second season. Now, the major changes to the Monogatari second season part happens because there is one arc 
and this installment in the franchise that happens at the exact same time as three other concurrent arcs as you can see in this graph. Because of this, you have to watch the bottom line first and then the top line after. That is why you watch it in this order and then after this you can go back to War Monogatari, finish everything there and then go back to Monogatari second season and finish the stuff there. Finally, all you need to know is that Hanamogatari happens at the end of the story chronologically, which is why you watch it last. So there you guys go, everything you need to know about how to watch the Monogatari series for your first viewing. And if you still want a little more help to understand the timeline, check out the graphs I linked to in the description below. To stream the series, almost all of it is available on Crunchyroll except for Kizu Monogatari and Koyumi Monogatari, which are unfortunately not available for legal streaming anywhere. Finally, to all the other Monogatari fans who may be blowing me up in the comments for recommending something as sacrilegious as a non-release order for a first time viewing, I'm just going to point to comments made by the author of the series where he says stuff like this in the afterwards of the Kizu Monogatari light novel, where he says, and I quote, I don't mind at all if you read this one first, Kizu Monogatari. In fact, chronologically speaking, this one comes first, so I dare say the Kizu Monogatari first order, in reference to the chronological order, is just as legit as the opposite order." End quote. So yeah, whatever way you enjoy watching the Monogatari series, as long as you enjoy it, it doesn't really matter how. But anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, give it a like if you liked it. And comment down below if you have any more questions about how to watch the Monogatari series. I'll be happy to help with those when I see them. Um, other than that, guys, I have a new video coming out tomorrow about if you want to watch the Monogatari series, why you should watch it. And if you're interested in learning more about why Darling Face was a bad anime, uh, you can click the bottom box right there. But anyways, guys, with all that out of the way, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye and peace.